Hi everybody and thank you for watching. So here is my CVS haul for this week. So to be honest, I feel like this week uh, there's not many deals. Um, these are all the deals that I could find. Yes, I could go out there and splurge on paper products or laundry, but it's not products that I need. I have quite a good amount of stock in my stockpile. And so I really just skipped this week. I only picked up a few items here, a lot of the money makers and the main item that I did want to pick up is the Neutrogena because this works out to be an amazing deal with um, the Activate Rewards promotion. So like always, I'll go over the breakdown of each of the deals, show you my receipt and let you know how much I paid. I did have, I have three transactions here. I did use two cards. So some of the deals I did duplicate on my other card just because the deals were that good. Okay, so let's go over the first deal. So the first one is the Revlon. So it is buy three and get $8 back. I picked up three of these eyeliner pencils. Uh, this is all my store had. So I picked up these ones. They were the cheapest one I can find because they only had the charcoal. Um, this is the UPC. So this is the one that I got. So I got three of the charcoal. So they are $9.29 each. Three of them came to $27.87. We have six of the two coupons that you can print from coupons.com. We also got them in a recent insert. So I did print them from coupons.com. We also have a $6 digital that is glitching and coming off on top of a $2.50 digital. So that is an amazing deal there. Also, I had a fourth of 20 CRT on Revlon, as well as my mystery CRT, which was $5. So after all of that, I just have it here. So after all of those, it came to $4.37. I got the $8 back. We got to be a $3.63 money maker. So really good deal there on the Revlon. Um, this was the only card that I did not do the Revlon deal last week, which is why I still had the 6 off of 2 digital. I did utilize the 6 of a 2 digital on my other two cards last week. Okay, so the next deal I did is the Neutrogena. So the Neutrogena, it is spend 20 and get 8. I went way over the $20 mark because we have this amazing Activate Rewards Visa gift card promotion that if you spend $20, you get five, but if you spend $30, you get 10. So I went in there to spend $30. And so I picked up two of, these are some kids ones. So these are 70 um, SPC for kids sprays. And these were $15.49 each at my store. So I went with a more expensive one because I wanted to hit the $30 mark. At the same time, my store was kind of out of all the cheap ones. But in the end, um, so they came to $30.98. We have a six of a two coupon that you can print from coupons.com. There's also a six of a two digital that did double dip and come off. And then I had a four of a 12 CRT on any sun care. So for me, I ended up paying uh, $14.98. I got the $8 back in extra bucks. And then I did submit my receipt on Activate Rewards. That way I can get $10 back in a gift card. Work out to be a $3.02 money maker for that one. So really good deal there on the Neutrogena. Honestly, I'm just at the point where I'm going to try and find the best deals on sun care because I really need to stock up on sunscreen for this summer. At the same time, we are going to Hawaii, I believe in September, and then we're heading to Australia in October. So I really want to stock up on a lot of sunscreen for the kids. Okay, so I did that on its own transaction. So I'll show you my receipt. So over here, you've got the three Revlon. There is the two Neutrogena. So I have my six off of two for the Revlon, my six of a two for the Neutrogena. There are all my digital coupons that did double dip and come off. The six on Neutrogena, the six off of Revlon, and then the $2.50. There is my $5 mystery coupon on the Revlon, my four of 20, and then my four of 12. I rolled 18, paid $1.35, so altogether $19.35. I got $16 back in extra bucks. I got $8 back for the Neutrogena, and I also got $8 back for the Revlon. So in the end, it worked out to be a $6.65 money maker for all of that after the $16 in extra bucks and the $10 back from Activate Rewards. So really good deal there on those. Okay, so the next transaction, what I did was I picked up um, the Colgate. So the Colgate, they're in promotion to buy two and get $5 back. They are $5.29 at my store. Uh, so two of them came to $10.58. We have a $2 digital coupon. I also had a two off of two 
coupon from a recent insert that I utilized. They both double dipped and came off. So I paid $6.58. I got the $5 back. Work out to be a cost of $1.58 or $0.79 cents each. So it's not the best, but I was making money on the Revlon and the CoverGirl. So I just splurged a little bit and picked up uh, the Colgate, which is my favorite. So this is my really absolute favorite Colgate that I like. So I did the Colgate deal. I did the CoverGirl deal. So the CoverGirl deal is buy two and get $6 back. At this store, um, they were very limited on stock. So I was able to find, I, I did this one on a separate transaction, but on this transaction, I got two of the eyebrow pencils. So they are $5.79 each. Two of them did come to $11.58. Use two $3 coupons. So we have them on coupons.com. There's also a digital one, and then there's one from a recent insert. So you can find them anywhere. So I used two $3 coupons, so I paid $5.58, I got the $6 back. Well, it got to be a $0.42 cent money maker for those. The next items I picked up on this transaction, I picked up these uh, little Cetaphil trial size little lotions. So the normal price on those is $4.29. I utilized um, three of these $4 coupons that I got from my coupon fairy. And then I had a 3 of 9 CRT. I wanted to see if I'll get any overage on that one. I did not. The 3 of 9 did adjust down to $0.87. Cents. But in the end, it worked out to be free because those are $4.29. Um, after this $4 coupon, it's $0.29. Cents. And then basically, that CRT made them free. So that's all I did on that transaction. So I will show that to you. So I did two Colgate, two CoverGirl, and three of the Cetaphil. So over here, you've got the Colgate. There is the CoverGirl, and there's a the Cetaphil. I have, I have a $2 coupon for the Colgate, two $3 coupons for the CoverGirl, three $4 coupons for the Cetaphil. There's my $2 Colgate that did double dip and come off. There's my three off of nine trial size CRT that did get adjusted down. I did use my Care Pass that came in uh, this week. So my Care Pass, I get $10, but I only paid $4. So I spent $4 and then the two sixteen. So altogether it cost me $6.16. I got $11 back. I got $5 back for the Colgate as well as $6 back for the CoverGirl. So it worked out to be a $3.84 money maker for that one. And then at the end of my receipt, I did get a 10 off of 70. So I might hold out and use that next week. And so that's my second transaction. And then I switched cards and I decided to do the Colgate deal again. I did the CoverGirl again, but I did get the cheaper eyeliners. These are the 529 ones, which made it a $1.42 money maker. And then I just tried to test it out and I did the Eucerin deal. So it's not the best, um, but it is products that we use, so might as well pick it up. So the Eucerin, they're on promotion for spend 15, get $5 back. I picked up one of the Advanced Repair at $9.99, and then I picked up one of the small bottles at $6.99. So altogether for those two there, I came to $16.98. I had two tour coupons that I got from my doctor. So if you've watched my other videos, I found, um, a bunch of coupons from my doctor's office and they don't expire till the end of 2024. So I did pick up a bunch of those. So I used two of those $2 coupons and then I had a three off of 12 CRT on any hand and body lotion. So basically for that, I paid $9.98. I got the $5 back. Work out to be a cost of $4.98 or $2.49 each, which is not bad, but then I do have some money makers to cover for that. So I will show you my receipt on that one. So over here you've got, there is the two Colgate, there's the two CoverGirl, the cheaper ones at $5.29, and there's the two Eucerin. So over here you have my $2 coupon for the Colgate, my two $3 coupons for the CoverGirl, and my two $2 coupons for the Eucerin. There is my $2 digital on the Colgate that did double dip and come off, and the 3 of 12 body lotion. I rolled $21.14, so I paid $21.14. I got $16 back. I got $5 here for the Colgate. 
I got $5 back for the Eucerin as well as $6 back for the CoverGirl. So in the end, it worked out to be a cost of $5.14, which is not bad considering I made a lot of money on my other two transactions. And at the end of this receipt, I got a 10 off of 60. So I haven't seen this one before. I'm really excited to utilize that next week. So I have a 10 off of 60 and a 10 off of 70 that I can utilize next week on my transactions. And so that's basically it. That's all that I got at CVS. So for all these items, it would have cost, the sale price would have been $132.12. After all coupons, I paid $46.65. I got back $43 in extra bucks as well as $10 on a gift card from Activate Rewards. That's from the Neutrogena. So in the end, I paid $46.65. I got $53 back. Worked out to be a $6.35 moneymaker. So I thought that was an amazing deal. So basically, the CoverGirl, the Revlon, and the Neutrogena helped me pay for the Eucerin and the Colgate. So a small little CVS haul. Don't, don't know if I'll go back to CVS this week. Um, like I said, there's not many deals there that I want to pick up. I might skip this week, focus on Rite Aid, and then work on CVS next week. If there are any other deals that you know of that I should do this week, do leave a comment down below and maybe I'll find the time to go back to CVS, do the deals and maybe do another video. So yeah, here is my CVS haul. Thank you for joining me.